mountains can have an effect on the climb of an area, especially if the, if the wind is blowing towards that mountain, the mountains are high enough. An example of that, or drawing of that, let's say here's, here's some pretty mountains. Oh, those are nice mountains. Oh, big mountains. There's, there's a, a nice mountain chain. Let's look what happens to the wind as it blows over this mountain chain. So imagine from the left we have some some winds that blow from here. Now the first thing we notice is that as this wind hits the mountain it's got one place to go and that is up. That's the only place it's going to be able to go is go up so the air is going to rise and as soon as the air rises we know what happens. Whenever air rises it's going to expand. As it expands it cools. We have condensation. So on this side of the mountain we tend to have a lot of clouds and if you have a lot of clouds on this side of the mountain, that's where you're going to get most of your rain. A lot of moisture. So the moisture that is in the air is going to be uh, squeezed out of the air. It's going to rain. It's going to, on this side of the mountain, we're going to have a lot more moisture than the other. So the air is going to keep moving, though. Now that it is a little bit drier, the air now comes over to this side. And instead of rising and expanding, now we have the exact opposite. It's Now it's sinking now. So instead of condensation, we have a lot of evaporation on this side, which makes this side of the mountain warmer, and it also makes this side of the mountain a lot drier. So we have two sides of the mountain, and we give them certain names. The side, in, in this diagram, the left-hand side, remember this could be switched around, but the side that the wind hits we call the windward side. This other side is called the leeward side. So we have the windward side of the mountain, the leeward side of the mountain. The windward side of the mountain tends to have climates that are a little bit cooler and climates that are wetter. Leeward side has climates that tend to be warmer and drier. Sometimes these dry leeward sides are so dry that they're actually turned the area into a desert and they're called rain shadow deserts. One way where we see that one side of a mountain has a different climate than another part is here in the Sierra Nevada mountains. If we scroll down and we're looking at the United States, go over to California, we find the Sierra Nevada Mountains. So off to our west or the left in this picture, we see the Pacific Ocean is over here. Here's California. The Sierra Nevada Mountains stretch a good chunk across California. They're pretty tall too. The windward side is to the west or the left-hand side of these mountain ranges. The leeward side is to the east or in this picture, the right-hand side. If we scroll, if we zoom down, we can see that these mountains are pretty tall, and that as the wind comes from the left-hand side or the west-hand side, it rises up these mountains. And you'll notice that if we look over here, it tends to be a little bit greener on the left side or the windward side than it does over here on the leeward side. The windward side, if we zoomed into one of the places along the windward side, these little boxes are where people have taken pictures and and we can look. If you look at this is on the windward side, uh, a lot of precipitation here, a forested area. Here we see a beautiful lake. In the distance you could see how all the mountains are forested, have a lot of trees on them. Again we see forested area, all that snow, great deal of precipitation. Here we see Camp Chawanaki, and again, a lot of, lot of vegetation, must be a lot of rain on this side that supports all of that vegetation, a, a lot of water. Now let, let's compare that, let's contrast that to the leeward side. So we're just going to go over to the other side of the mountains. This is the leeward side where we don't see as much, and we see a stark difference. Here we don't see a lot of vegetation, it's very dry. And we have a lot of sand dunes here. This is a desert. This area here is not far away from Death Valley. 
if we look at this picture, we see the, the distance. Not a great deal of vegetation. But this is just a little distance away from where Death Valley is. Very dry, not a lot of vegetation in this area. So the Sierra Nevada Mountains is really a very good example of how mountains can affect the climate of an area.